starting out on the gym. Uh, consistency is everything. It's hard at first, but like, you know, once you just keep going and you keep doing the same thing over and over again, again uh, it gets easy. Just consistency and persistency, that's all it is really. Now the sun is shining bright. What's going on guys? Chris Brychico back with another video and with the gentle giant. He came out of hiding. I'm back, baby. He is back. He is back now. I mean, Andre's been talking a whole lot of shit about you. Not coming. What do you have to say to him specifically about this week too? Andre is someone we like to call a barker. But he doesn't <laughs> stop yapping. Whole week he was yapping and show up once. So I think it's time to... We're not, we're not going to see Andre anymore. It's done. No. It's over. Even she here showed up. She here, what do you want to say? Mm -hmm. About to kill this shit. We're about to kill this shit. That's right. Well, Andre's been talking about like how he wanted to be involved with the grow your legs. But, I mean, fuck. Guy's not here. We're not not going to hit leg day because he's not here. So, we're going to go crazy today. Grow your leg day. The final iteration of grow your. But, I mean, fuck. We haven't done grow your abs either. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, you need to get me in that video. Grow your abs. Grow your abs? Yeah, we gotta get Sheer in that video. Sheer's gonna be in more videos. Sheer comes on Thursdays and Fridays, typically. Sometimes Mondays. Some, sometimes Mondays. It's gonna increase. He's a fucking hard worker. I've known him since I was a kid. Did martial arts together. Some backstory there. But we're gonna get this workout going. We'll see you guys when we are in the gym. Camille, I want you to explain to us why we should use Smith Machine squats over the typical barbell. Because it's more isolated and controlled. Huh? It's more isolated and controlled. It's more isolated. Well, you're not wrong. See, more so it's about keeping your spine leveled, right? Because when you're going down uh, on a typical squat, you're using your lower back, right? So when you do this, it's making your lower back in time and you're, you're really isolating your quads because that's what you're trying to hit, right? How many sets are we doing? Four sets. <laughs> Four sets. Buddy, it's grow your legs. We're doing eight sets. Maybe maybe we'll do six just because of the amount of us there are. But she here, what do you have to say about this exercise? You like this or regular barbell squats? I like this. You like this? Yeah. I like this. It helps here. It keeps the balance better, you know? It doesn't you don't fall back. Yeah. You know, yeah. All that type of shit. So I so how, this one. How long have you been going to the gym now? With you? Yeah, yeah. Like probably like two months or some shit. Like okay, so, so what pointer do you, would you have to give to like people who are starting out on the gym? Starting out on the gym? Uh, consistency is everything. It's hard at first, but like, you know, once you just keep going and you keep doing the same thing over and over again, again uh, it gets easy. Just consistency and persistency, that's all it is really. Yeah, that's that's, that's facts, that's facts. But she's a fucking monster. He's gonna go to war today. 100%. Okay, I wanted Camille to explain what we're gonna do, but like Camille's not the best at explaining and he's also camera shy, so it's all right. But we're gonna start off with the bar, with just the bar so we can get a nice little warm up in, get our blood going. Like I said, we're doing six sets because there's three of us, we're gonna be rotating constantly. Uh, and we got a lot of squats today. Today's grow your legs, so you know, grow your anything, we go really hard. You should go hard every day though. Just make sure you're getting adequate rest when you are going hard. Um, but we're gonna be doing a lot of squats today. We're gonna be doing barbells, uh, well, this Smith machine, but we're also gonna be doing barbell. We're also gonna do hack squats, whole lot of squats, squat central out here. But like I said, start off with a bar, six sets, eight to 12 rep range, depending on the weight we do. We'll see well, as we progress what we're trying to do, but eight to 12, let's get it done.
Camille, Camille. So he ignores me. How do you feel so far? We're about halfway through, a little over the halfway mark. How do you feel? I'm already tired, I'm already, already done. I got a good pump going, I'm ready to go home. Let's see it. It's, it's getting there, it's getting there. That's right. Slow but steady, it's a race. Or sorry, it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> she here just finished the statue here. Well, how do you feel so far? Legs are getting a little sore. They're getting a little stiff. Here's a question. I mean, you're like kind of the new guy, but you're not. Yeah. Are we hitting eight sets or are we hitting six sets? You do eight, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, we're doing eight. Camille, we're doing eight. Huh? We're doing eight sets. All right, so I guess we're doing eight sets, thanks to Shahir. We love that though, that's called hard work right now, and that's the way that you should treat your workouts. Always have people around you that push you. So we're four sets in, which means that we have four more after, so we are at the halfway mark, but I wanted to show you guys something, just because I don't think I've touched on it before, which is the mind-muscle connection. So, because we're hitting quads, I really wanna think about my quads, right? If I'm trying to hit this part of my muscle, I gotta be thinking about it mentally. That way I know how it's feeling and making sure it's being engaged correctly, right? So what some people actually do is they'll have their partner touch the muscle that they're working so that their mind's thinking about that physical touch point. But like, we're not gonna do that on squats. You could do it on like lat pull downs or something like that. Squats a little hard, like Camille's gonna stand here, Shear's gonna stand here and touch my leg. It's a little odd, but we can still have that mind-muscle connection by ourselves. So one thing I've noticed specifically about the Smith machine is number one, you wanna make sure your feet are positioned correctly. That way you're not uh, too, far or too far in or too far back to where I'm coming down, almost like a sissy squats there. Which, sissy squats are fucking phenomenal, so definitely implement them, but we're not doing that right now. So I put my feet, I would say like a foot and a half length away from the actual bar itself. And when I'm coming down, I'm bending my knees first. So like even right now, my knees are bending and as I come down, my butt's gonna follow. <clears throat> really emphasize that depth, especially on squats. Like if you guys could squat three plates, but you guys are only getting down halfway, you're not squatting three plates. Get that fucking depth, that's how you grow your legs, that's how you get stronger, okay? So if you cannot get deep with a certain weight because it's too heavy, lower the weight. It ain't egotistical, it's how you get better, right? But four more sets, we're gonna just do a plate for now. We're gonna increase it every set, but we'll get this done. Let's go to war, baby. All right, so we finished the eight sets on the uh, hack or the uh, Smith machine squats. I really feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> My head feels like it's gonna explode. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing the barbell squats simply due to uh, not wanting to overdo it. So I'm feeling some strain on my knees. Now I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but make sure you guys listen to the like the cues your body's giving you, so you don't injure it, right? Because more isn't always better. It isn't. You gotta make sure you're playing within the bounds of your body, and your body does have limits. But it's up to you guys to find what those limits are. At the same time though, you wanna avoid injury because as I've said before, injury is gonna pull you out of the gym and no one wants that. But we're moving on to some seated calf raises. We're gonna do like 20 of these. Now, like with calf raises, you wanna make sure it's really slow and controlled and getting really deep on the end. I've seen people put like two plates on here and they're like this. 
I don't think that's that's the right way to do it. You want that full stretch. So I'm all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. And even just doing those two reps, I'm feeling my calves getting really worked. So definitely make sure you're controlling it and hitting the depth. But we're also gonna superset it with Shahir's favorite. So these are called So Camille is an L fucking recorder and he keeps turning it off. He's got to keep his headphones out, <laughs> but, huh? I know it's off, but I'm just saying, so you're a little lost in the sauce, but we're going to be doing sissy squats. This is Shahir's favorite. Camille's never done this. Sissy squats are very fucking hard. Some people could do it without holding on to something, but I'm not at that level yet. So I hold on to something. And basically what you're doing is you're standing straight and my knees are going to fall forward. Just like I'm bending down on my knees just like this and then coming right back up and that's a fucking crazy exercise we're gonna do that for 10 some people can do that just like like here man and I nah fall forward it's a balance thing too but it's definitely a strength thing so we're gonna crush this Shahir was on the ground last set <laughs> and if your sets don't look like that at the end you're not working hard enough so we're gonna crush this for four sets and see if we can get the hack squat. The hack squat machine is taking right now because that's what I wanted to do next, but it's a public gym. You gotta respect other people. So whenever it's open, we will go to it. For now though, calves, sissy squats, four sets, get it done. workout is all done i know we said we were going to do some barbell or hack squats but the gym was busy and not only that i don't feel the best um you know it's one of those workouts like it's not always about how much you guys do it's about how well you do what you're doing so quantity over quality or sorry quality over quantity <laughs> and that was one of those workouts uh, i mean eight sets though and then four sets of a super set like that that is a lot of movement especially when you're doing 12 reps which is what we were doing for the majority of this Smith machine squats and stuff like that. The workout will be in the description below. Like I said, it's a little bit of a shorter workout, but it did take a bit. It was like a 45 to an hour long workout. I mean, it was three of us, but you guys should be timing your rest and the way that we gauge our rest. And you know, when there's three of us is, is whenever the other person's turn to go. But yeah, the workout will be in the description below. There will be more appearances this year, and Camille is back on the grind. He's back, baby. Camille is going to commit to a winter bulk as well. I'm not too sure if I'm going to commit to a winter bulk. I don't think so. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at. I'm just more so not going to worry too, too much about what I eat. Uh, but making sure I get that protein, right? Because protein is key to the gains. And obviously eating the right protein, right? The right protein is key. You don't want to just drink like... I, fuck, I go home right now. I could drink like a five scoops of pre uh, protein powder and get 125 grams of protein but i'm not i'm not digesting all that i'm pretty sure i mean i'm no nutritionist or dietitian or anything like that but i definitely don't think your body's able to digest 125 grams of protein in one sitting so definitely don't drink that much and i i mean let's be honest you drink that much pre or 
protein powder, you're probably going to be on the toilet for quite a while. But yeah, Camille's going to be back. Camille is going to come for Andre. He's going to show Andre how it's fucking yes, done. Sir. Andre's been talking all this smack to Bray and Camille. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Bray's been slacking. <laughs> I mean, I can't hate on it. And I'm not, you know, Bray's, Bray's got his own, you know, grind and stuff like that outside of the gym that he's been working on. So we do have to, uh, you know, say that that's all right. Condemn him on that. No excuses for Andre, though. Andre, yeah. Andre, he, he goes home and you know what he does? He plays on the Nintendo Switch or whatever. And, you know, I'm not knocking it. Fuck, the Nintendo Switch is a good-ass console, but need to get those gains in. It's all about balance. You guys do what you need to do to get where you want to be. So, yeah, workout will be in the description below. I think I've said that three times, but whatever. I'm going to stress that. Hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Drop a comment down below what you guys think about the workout along with... Let Andre know. Give Andre some freaking motivation in those comments. He needs to see it. He has been slacking. Camille has been slacking too, I'm not going to lie. But he's back. He was on vacation. He was in, um, where is it, Thailand? Yes, sir. Okay. How was that? 1 to 10? 10 out of 10. 10 beautiful out of 10. Country. Beautiful yeah? country. Beautiful people. Beautiful food. Beautiful food. Yeah. He went with his girlfriend and then your friend and parents, right? Yeah. So, he, yeah, it was a great time. Two weeks. Two weeks, but... Smash that like button, drop a comment down below for Andre's motivation and what you guys think about the workout. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a video. Two videos a week, that's what we're aiming for. It's been a little slow recently, just had some stuff going on in the real world. But we're going to be increasing the three videos very soon. Winter arc is upon us, time to get ready. And I want to I want to end off with a quote guys. Day one or one day. Shout out The Rock. Have a blessed day guys, we'll see you next time.